and we have Steven Mena in the white trunks. We have Kurt Diesel in the grape colored Hayabusas. And these guys are starting off at a furious pace. See a strong look of determination on the face of Mena. He offers a leg kick to which Kurt Diesel cracks back and then Kurt mixes it up with a high kick of his own. Yeah, Mena's coming forward, you know, he's trying to walk him down. He's, he's got a little bit of showmanship, you know, calling Kurt on. He is chasing a little bit though, as opposed to cutting him off, but that's also smart on Kurt's side of things to recognize that if he's not gonna cut me off, I might as well just keep on trying to create my own angles, right? Yeah, it was a good overhand by Mena there. Kurt needs to establish, you know, get some respect here. Mena's not really respecting him, just trying to walk him down here. Right here, you see how he changed the field, right? He put Mena's back on the cage. He's got to take advantage of that. Certainly. Now, Mena's also throwing some high energy shots right now without knowing where his conditioning is. Sometimes we see that from some guys in their debut. And you know, not, not always, as we talked about earlier, when they don't land, that plays a role in your gas tank, especially from a guy coming from El Paso up to the 45, 4,600 feet here that we're on Pueblo, Colorado. Yeah, and you see Menas, you know, he's he's definitely playing the part, right? He, he's playing the part. <sighs> Little brawl here. And he landed a strong hook. And then Kurt Diesel with a scoop and slam double leg takedown. Ends up in the guard of Mena. Mena using some palm strikes initially to try to create some uh, create, create a scramble or get himself some space with Kurt yeah. Diesel on top You see how Kurt's using his head to, to really dictate where Mena's at. That's going to allow him to really posture up and throw big strikes here. That head and pressure Kurt's is going to be a big, strong for kid. He has, his, he has Mena's head pressed up against the fence right now. Winning that head position is so huge and critical yeah. right now. And then especially dropping those hips in and being heavy with that pressure right there, Cody. That's a, that's a bad spot to be in right now if you're Steven Mena. Yeah, those hammer fists are money right there. He goes that half Nelson and he'll look to go that opposite wrist grab too. That head position's really going to win him the fight here. You know, he's controlling his head. He's able to do damage. And this is just a, a grind you out type of position here. Yeah, you know, he's kind of losing that position. He wants the head in the chin. He's, he's able to kind of control where the opponent's going here. There is a little bit of space here if you're Steven Mena to try to work to get back. He, he's got the knee shield back in, so he's been able to create enough space for that. Now he's recollected his guard. However, Kurt begins to hip himself back in at the short time clacker and tries to score as many damage points as possible at the end of this first round. Right there at the very end of that sequence was the hardest right hand of the entire round, I would fair to say. For sure, yeah. He was landing good ground and pound. His head position was key there. He was able to control him where he was at. Um, you know, he needs to just avoid the brawl. You know, Mena's trying to brawl. He's trying to close distance. And, and you saw Kurt kind of get caught up in the brawl. And that's not where he needs to be. He needs to be on the outside, landing his jab and his cross and his leg kick. You saw him land a high kick earlier. He needs to stay at that distance. And then when he wants to close distance, he definitely has the wrestling chops to do that, as we saw, and the strength. So it needs to be either in or out. He can't get in the brawl with this kid because that's where he wants to be. And on the other side of things, Mena needs to turn it into a brawl. You know, he needs to stop chasing. He needs to try to cut Kurt off on the cage and turn it into a, a, a brawl where he can catch him uh, on the way in. Certainly, and we, we saw in those exchanges that Mena, even in his debut, has a great deal of heart. He's not afraid to stand in there and take some shots to be able to give some. Yeah, like I said, you know, he's playing the part. He's, he's, he's smiling. He's sticking his tongue out. Does that play a role in your psyche at all if you think that you just want around the guy sitting across smiling and sticking his tongue out at you? Um, I don't think so. I think you got to realize, you know, you know you're winning, you're doing great. You're Another strong double leg around, takedown you know. from Kurt. Kurt. Kurt needs to keep that head pressed against the cage. You know, and it's that old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, because it's working. You know, it, See, Kurt's got to win the head position here. He's got to roll the head to the chin. The strong body shots raining down right there. Now, Kurt is very strong with this front headlock position. We could be looking for a potential guillotine right here. 
and Mena was able to free himself. That was a strong scramble right there from Steven Mena, and that was definitely a desperation situation. You saw Kurt start to grab on that lower part of his hand with that 10-finger grip, and if Kurt starts to grab you in those vices, those are some pythons that even Hulk Hogan would be proud of, Cody. Yeah, You're not for getting sure. that. He's got a really tight squeeze, and, and he's good at those things. You saw how he set it up. You know, he allowed Mena to kind of force him. Here he goes again, the same kind of setup here. You know, he's going to look to take his back here. Now, one thing that I think is wise for Kurt here is he's keeping the weight heavy on top of Mena right now. So he's making him carry all of, you know, Kurt right now, rehydrated, is probably in there at roughly 190. Oh, he's making least. him carry all of that weight. He's trying to find the chin. You see him going back and forth. Well, he's built like Adonis, so I was being, uh, I was being generous with that 190. Yeah. I think he's probably closer to 200. That's deep. And he's, he's looking for that track. finish right there, and he gets the rear naked choke. That is a major goal that Kurt Smith had coming into this fight. He said that his top priority was to find a finish. Kurt Smith right there looks very strong, gets the back take, and sinks in the rear naked choke. And that was tight immediately. We talked about how tight that squeeze is from Diesel. And the quick tap right then and there from Steven Mena, who was tough throughout the entire contest, speaks to just how strong Kurt Smith is. Yeah, and you see Kurt set that up. He was working right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, and then was able to sink it in. Uh, that shows his growth. His striking on the feet looked good. He was able to blend his wrestling. He just looked good everywhere. I mean, he gets better every time he's out there. He gets more confident. Uh, you saw him smiling a little bit this time. You knew he was having fun. It was a good fight on both sides. You know, it was a good debut um, for Steven, but, you know, hats off to Kurt proud of him as a teammate and, and um, he looked great. I know he really wanted that finish. He'd been talking about it a long time. I'm glad he was able to get that. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tim Mill steps in at one minute and 54 seconds of the second round. Declaring your winner by submission via guillotine show, Mr. Clarence Smith!